Early in 2008, following the collapse of Northern Rock, a lot of banks were finding it difficult to fund themselves. The risk was what happened to Northern Rock would happen to all the other banks. They'd effectively run out of money, so it's absolutely essential that the regulators and central banks ensured there was enough liquidity in the market. The Bank of England was desperate, I think, to find a way to unlock that sort of stasis that was in the banking system and they came up with a special liquidity scheme under which banks could borrow in exchange for the illiquid assets that those banks held on their balance sheets. The first I heard of the special liquidity scheme was when I had a phone call at home on Easter Sunday when Paul Tucker, who of course is now Deputy Governor, rang me and told me what the bank was proposing uh, and we had to set to work on it immediately. Once the Governor had decided how he wanted the scheme to work, our main task was to produce the documentation for that. The timetable we set by the bank was incredibly tight. That documentation had to be produced largely from a standing start in a very short period of time, a matter of weeks. I put in place uh, quite a big team to deal with all the various legal issues and then I worked full time on the matter un until it concluded towards the end of April. These were completely new and untested proposals, not just new here in Britain, but nowhere else in the world had any other government or central bank proposed anything at all like this. There wasn't a standard form. We could pull off the system and fill in the blanks. We had to draft the documentation from scratch. The scheme was announced early in the morning of Monday, 21st of April. The last few days were, were pretty manic leading up to that. We worked all weekend and all night, all weekend, to you know, dot the I's and cross the T's. Nobody knew that this was going to work. Legally, we were treading on new ground. We produced a set of documents from scratch, which it turned out were scrutinised, uh, not just by the banks, by other law firms, but also by other central banks and lawyers and others in the market abroad. Not often regulatory lawyers, the anoraks in the corner, get out on the front page of the newspapers, but when you when the scheme was finally announced, it was all over the newspapers, that was a really exciting moment. And people around the world were saying, Christ, you know, this is fantastic. You know, the, the Bank of England has really taken the lead to try and unlock this logjam in the financial markets. In the end, the scheme ended up raising about £200 billion worth, which is an absolutely phenomenal number. I mean, it's almost monopoly numbers. And I think at the time, it was, it was very difficult to contemplate quite how much that meant. It's a hugely important thing for the banking industry as a whole, not just for any one bank, not just for the Bank of England.